Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54 second round match between Astro WWF and his Orcs and maybe a fan of pandas and a babe and then Sparky with Chaos Dwarves um, with obviously known just as a high TV team a, a weird team with um, you know some not very good blockers right a rookie and a guard and in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude hello Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Boy, howdy. There's no claw pom, is there? There's no claw pom. There's a mine saver you want. There's just two claw mighties. Decent bowls. Decent. Right. Hmm. Strength four. How are the black That's a big question. Five. Yeah, how are these uh, black holes? DP. I feel like that's always the question in these matchups is how good black orcs. The answer is they're missing a black orc? No, 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 it's just hiding. Yeah, it's fine. Three black guards. Yep. Well, four guards and then three black guards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, really nice blitzers. Uh, a couple of blodgers. Really good against uh, 12 blocks. I'm gonna find everyone who plays North in real life and just beat Oof, them to the inch of their nice. fucking life. Thanks, Jürgen. Uh, yeah, two double edge is really good, and double double dodge is actually really good. Right? They are actually really good blitzes. Obviously, mm -hmm. dodge not so good against these because uh, they also got attack. Uh, this 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 uh, this bull is like perfect, isn't it? Blodge, tackle, guard, and uh, break tackle. So yeah, that's that's like the perfect. I think that's pretty much the perfect bull. Honestly, just one double. And, uh, yeah, you want to uh, you want to start the next level. Basically, or I guess you just ain't mighty low in your final. But... Yeah, strength five. Yeah, okay, so he's not perfect. Or, or, yeah. In a perfect world, he'd get strength and, and make it a legend. Any, or I any guess set double strength any and not take on Any set on that player is fine at this point. Movement, strength, agility, all of them are good. Agility's a bit shit, to be honest. Movement, not... I guess you'd have to take movement. Agility is better once you have dodge, then it's a three plus into a two plus. And dodging into cages is a bit better, so... Yeah, it's it's a bit shit though, right? For forty TV, isn't yeah. it? It's not really worth forty TV. That's the problem. Not quite, but it makes him also a more reliable secondary ball carrier, which is what everyone everyone thinks they want bull centaurs to be. Oh so. wow, look at that! The double GFI from the move five, and the bull through, and another player through, and all of a sudden, this Whoa. failed failed Ooh, pickup. Look at those dodges! Wow! Those, look at those good. Wow! Very impressive. <sighs> But I, the ordering was pretty good, that it was pretty safe to do, really. Yeah, yeah pretty nice. Pretty nice. And no real way to deal with it, because, you know, strength four monsters. Oh, you can chain him out by blitzing strength four. That's nice, isn't it? Really nice. I would rather just blitz with a black orc, to be honest, than a... Uh... We would have liked to have blitzed the Mighty Blow, maybe, as well, but I guess we wanted to get the knockdown. Oh, so he's going for the surf. That was a little bit greedy. <laughs> yeah. I would have rather just got the got the bull away, punched the other guy, and then uh, gone for a pickup with no tackles on it. I don't like running the Blitzer up the field like that either, but... I think it's, it's fine, right? Down. He's got, he's got like, he's a bit of a safety. I think this is fine. What do you mean this one going up here? I meant that one going up field, yeah. yeah. I think he was actually in a pretty nice spot. I thought you already had a hit with the Black Orc. If you wanted it, you didn't need to take that specific hit. So. Classic scuffed game, though. We have a scrum in the middle of the field doing nothing, and then we have a bunch of idiots meandering around the ball. So. <laughs> it couldn't be a Devo out because Devo is in with his uh, with another team, and you know the the admins and all. Whatever. Mister Throw gets removed because he's armor value eight. Glorious. Edge three would have made the pick up there. I don't know if I like. I mean, it worked. I'm not sure if you need to. I guess you had to do the reroll because you get served otherwise. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you just yeah. need to go for it. See, and that's the thing. Like, you could have had stand firm over uh, over edge if, if you get to legend. Like, stand firm is really yeah. good. So. Um, that's why. Frenzy is also good, though, reasonable that selection. Was, yeah. Yeah. That was really that was really good move getting there and getting back safe. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Throw really sucks. Apparently having the ball is better than trying to serve complete shitters. Yeah, yeah, that was really weird. Is he gonna blitz him now and surf him? I mean, now it actually seems like the right play to go for the surf and get all the hobgoblins off the field, basically. Because <laughs> it makes attacking the ball like you're going to have to do it a lot easier. Yeah, I think he is. Way. They do have the ball, but now they are really quite far down players, the Chaos Dwarves. Yeah, yeah, they've lost loads. They've lost uh, two players and they have a ball carrier, so they're down. I delete another player. Lost three players, actually, so yeah. Mm. So like, down, they're down three and a half, four. <laughs> well, they're down three players. <laughs> Just one was quite good. But, well, yeah. one of them's a ball. I'm, yeah, one's the ball carrier, so he can't really do as much. Well, I mean, this one was a better ball carrier, right? Once he's good. He's yes. way better. This one's movement five. He's just like a weird strength ball for him. I mean, it's going to be problematic. He needs to get some removals. Claw needs to do something, but he needs to get two Ds, which is not easy. No. The amount of guard and the strength disadvantages we felt here. And he doesn't have the claw, he doesn't have the piling on to like, that's what really... Yes. You know, Claw Mighty gives you a chance against Orcs, as uh, Chorfs and Chaos and Nurgle, but Claw Palm is when, when you start to uh, really get a good chance. <laughs> no, it just makes the move removal much more likely. Yeah. Claw Mighty is just too unreliable. Claw Mighty gives you a bit of a chance. As anyone who's ever played Norse with the Yeti that gets Mighty Blow can tell you, it just isn't good enough. <laughs> it gives you a chance, though, right? It gives you a chance. Mm -hmm. It gets stuns and everything. Like it, with, with, without Claw Might, you, you play Orcs and they've just got everything better than you. They've got so much guard, like, compared to you because you're having to pick block and they're picking guard. Like, if you just pick block on your Chaos and your Nurgle, you're just screwed against Orcs. You need a Claw Might to, like, you know, just give yourself a chance at a high roll, basically. No, if you look at and as chaos dwarves and you're like all right what do they have if we don't have claw well they have same armor or more armor they have the same speed and they have more guard and more strength so you do need to get some removals with chores yeah the ball, had, the ball had the ball a while ago but that was a nice that was a nice blitz and great removal and basically bull tattooing Really nice or, oh, huge dodge. Uh, yeah, I had, to make, I had to make that dodge. Yeah. Absolutely had to, because otherwise it was just a 1D on the ball. Like, this was nice, though. This this down player was, like, you know, doing a lot of work, making him run all the way around mm -hmm. the down players. That was, that was actually doing a lot, but, I mean, obviously the dodge makes it a lot better. Oh, I meant the, um, the, it's just a 2 plus dodge in from the guy up top. Yeah, I know, so but, like, if this yeah. guy wasn't here... He could yeah. cut, cut the corner, right? Like, that's the thing. So this guy yeah. down there was really nice. Using, utilizing the down player as kind of part of the screen. I don't know if that was the right square to push him to. I feel like you wanted to push him up and then have the Black Orc come and tag the Bull Centaur from behind. Because now the Pulse Centaur can just kind of blitz its way forward with me. Yeah. Without having to make a dodge. Yes, you don't let the Bull Centaur just like. Both Bulls are free, right, on this blitz here. Yeah. And then also this guy gets a dodge out as well. So this is. Uh, yeah. Looking a pretty shit turn from Astro WWF and a pretty obvious easy turn for Sparky here. You could even dodge this one first, right? Because even though it's harder, at least he's got hit this guy doing something. Yeah, he got to blitz the ball. Ooh, the double ones, diced. I'm also not sure the GFIs they did were strictly necessary there. But... No, they were. Were they? Yeah, he's, he's got sure feet, and they never ever bulls never fail GFIs. Oh, you're right. I'd forgotten they have sure feet. Yeah. <laughs> 
Have you ever seen a bull send off in a GFI? Uh, no, it probably was, right? It probably was. This guy. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, GFI. One, two, three, GFI. Yeah, it gets him out of range. So if, if he doesn't make the GFIs, then he can 2D him if this fails. Mm. And, like, they are they are 1 in 36s. Generally, it's worth doing the 1 in 36 on offense to make up on doing good things. Right? And have so to make him do 2. Yeah. It's making him do 2 to 1D, and it's making him do 3 to 2D. Especially so. if it's your uh, defensive drive where you're trying to score, I suppose. There's a higher reward, effectively. No, he gets the 1D. Oof. Pushes him in. No! I guess he's not going to get the stall with him, so. I guess he's not really sticking on the stall. So he just dodges. Oh. I thought he might have been a bit greedy and dodge and then like mm. not stack it and then get a 2D blitz on the line or right? You could have done that. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. But uh <laughs> just takes the score, which is fair enough. Now a big favourite to win. Ooh, maybe not that big a favourite with these staying out. Two turns for the Orcs. Can't count. Nine players for the Chorths. And that was brutal chaos. Been brutal chaos in every match so far. Mm -hmm. Two days. I have no idea how it works. I guess they have to score in two turns and then try and get a defensive score, which I guess it is actually still pretty possible from the way it feels pretty bad when you have to do a quick score as orcs. But if I were coaching them, this would feel very doable, I suppose. Yeah, Especially you, if the you just got to fail score. KOs like this. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to score in two and then you know see what happens in the second half, right? You can stop them and go to overtime, just depends how the uh, removals come. That three dice feels a waste of a player. Want everything up as far field as we can get. Yeah. Yeah, especially when like you could, you could be tagging a. Yeah, I want to be doing GFIs with these Lymans to tag these Bull Centaurs as well because fuck it, just make them roll with two dice, make them roll with one D to do something, please, to get to my guys. Yeah, get, get both edge fours in range, pick up the ball, get it forward, and then do all the GFIs at the end. With everybody. So yeah, th this black oak. Oh, he's movement three. Oh, so to be fair, well, he should have been blocking, yeah. right? The, mo the move yeah. three should have been blocking even without block. And then, oh, he's also moved three. <laughs> and then this move four one could have du double geified and tagged this uh this chalk. I'd rather tag the chalk than one of the bulls. Tag the if you bulls pointless here. Yeah. I don't know why only one line. I guess that's why one line makes you're using the other one for a screen, but I don't know. I, I would have liked to have found a way, see if I could find a way to tag both bulls, make them to do a 2 plus. I definitely want to tag this guy. This, this guy's way better to tag. If you're going to, like. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have the 2 plus dodge off of every roll. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. And and he's stand firm as well, right? So, like, it's, mm -hmm. guard it's stand like firm is infinitely yeah. better to tag. Is the lineman even in scoring range where he's currently at? Yeah. On the no. right side? No, he didn't GFI. Yeah, that's... yeah. That's not very good at all. No. Yeah, you've got a GFI. Like, you just have to... you have to get them on the six. Well, you have to... that's why you have to do them last, right? And you could even double G GFI with a black oak. Um, not that he'd be in range, but... it's a thing. Oh, look, stand firm. As he uses his reroll hitting the stand firm, that um, he could have just tagged out last time. So yeah, not a big mistake, I think, tagging the ball. Let's get this guy. Might get the score, though. So... There's not really a better thing here than just do the 4 plus 3 plus. But I don't... I guess I'm not seeing something. It was a 5 oh, plus. It's a 5. I probably should have GFI once or twice. But, uh, yeah, that, there had to have been a way to GFI that and make it a 4+, which I think is better than a 5. Mm. 
I think two. I think two fours better than a five at least. It definitely it, is. It definitely is. Yeah. Even with pass, I'm pretty sure it is. But um, yeah. Yes, yeah, five is. Yeah. But I mean, what he really needed to do was he just needed to tag this this stunt, and that was really crazy not to tag this stunt. Mm -hmm. It would have also possibly opened up a chance for a relay, which would have been better. Oof. Yep, good point as well. Could have cheered by last turn. So also, all he just needed more raw, raw more dice. That was a a realization that Nick came to. As there was a chasm up on there. Realization that Nick came to. He was struggling with his two turns, and he realized he had to roll more dice on the turn one of the two turn. And, and that's the thing, right? Like, yeah. like, you, you have to do that. With, I, guess, I guess Nick was more of an elf coach, so. But um, like with orcs especially, right? Like you, know, you have to bash teams, slow bash teams. You have to go pretty crazy turn one, especially with two rerolls. There was mm -hmm. no reason not to. He just had to get kind of good ordering, so he was then able to just go for all of the GFIs at the end. <laughs> That's what he wanted oh. to be able to do. Huge, huge KO recovery now. Sparky yes. in a great position to get nice, a very clean 2-0 win here, um, if he can just hold on his offense, which admittedly, probably one of the harder parts of Chaos Dwarves is an offensive and Sebastian team. Yep, but he's got Claw Mighty, so he might get lucky. Yeah. A bit like Necro in that regard, where Chaos Wars are just a bit more tilted to the other side of the field. Mm. Because of the mobility of their two best players. And the way defense can be about your safeties rather than the middle of the field, where offense is much more about really the sum of everything. So he doesn't have a claw pump, he doesn't have a way to get removal, then he's just going to be kind of out strength for a lot of it. If he wants to do a proper stall anyway. And that is true, Chirgan, yeah. I mean, he's won it with Dwarves and Orcs, hasn't he? But it is funny that, like, Nick thinks of himself as an elf coach. And I think most people watching him think of him as an elf coach. Yet, when he won Chalice, it was uh, absolute brainless banging with Mighty Blow and Guard. Maybe, maybe that tells you something about banging, yeah? And how good. And all these people saying overblocking is bad. I, honestly, I think, I think people saying overblocking is bad is, like, the worst thing people say. The worst Blood Bowl advice. There you go, I'm going to call that. That is the absolute worst blue ball advice, is people talking about overblocking. There you no, go. No, Nerva Steel being rated as a great skill is the worst piece of blood ball advice. <laughs> but, uh, overblocking... How do I say this? Like, it's just not bad. It's not bad. Are, if, somebody, no if somebody is new to Blood Bowl, then overblocking is literally the best thing they can do. <laughs> it's literally the best thing they can do. You can get to, maybe it's not 70%, but you can get to 65%, I would say, in CCL, just by maximizing the 2Ds you make every turn with hardly any regard to position. <laughs> Getting a go. new coach to the point where they can efficiently ma maximize their blocks um, without making massive positional sacrifices is the first step to being a better coach. Yeah. Um, right, and then right along with things like the but ball is in fact pretty good, and uh, I think I know what you just pulled up. Yep. Um, <laughs> right along with uh, the ball is pretty good, and uh, take block. And uh, safe moves sometimes. Yep. It's true, though. Like it's true. Like you know, it's, I mean, it's not even not having a go at him. It's like it's true. That's literally, that's that's literally put. You know, and people, a lot of people have a go at Mr. Page about it. But it's like it's 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 absolutely fine. Overblocking isn't really a thing. It's not really a thing. It's mostly it's just mostly just good play. <laughs> I mean, of course, you know, do it sometimes, but um, and don't do it sometimes. But yes, getting, I think uh, people who. Talk about overblocking and the mistakes therein. Sometimes forget how hard it can be for new players just to see all the assists consistently and see all the ways they can generate blocks, let alone actually maximize them every turn. Yeah. Blitz with mighty blow every turn, etc., etc. You know, got a lot of stick for that, didn't he, uh, Mr. Page? But it's like, it's right. It's it's totally right. It's totally right. <laughs> no, if you have a mighty blow player and you've spent team value on that, you should be asking. How do I use this skill every turn? What's the easiest way to use my blow? To make it your dedicated blitzing player, to target a good player, a good piece, and a position valuable piece every single turn with it if you can. Exactly. Exactly. 
Well, got got some mighty blow claw going on turn one there. And that mm -hmm. makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Down two strength fours. Another claw mighty hit to come. Really like doing the, that 1D first to make this like a, a 2D. I mean, like, no, it's the only way around he could do it. Sorry. You could, you could have 1D'd him to like free up this guy, but you know, again, overblock, right? If you can overblock, overblock. <laughs> I mean, the one is pretty good upside. You know, you get a push is even nice enough. Um, and it's also kind of forming a bit of a crease that you can try and advance into next turn if he wants to make the field. So. Oof. Rowdy reroll there. With overtime, the best possible result for Astro WWF. He puts in a reroll just to try and hurt a, a hobo. Feeling the slightly bad block dice. Some jackpots here. And he is behind, so. Stand firm there. Yeah, no, it's not terrible at all. This is a great little pocket for uh, Sparky to run into now. It might be a little bit of trap space. The orcs are a bit committed up that right side of the field. It's yeah, it's not trap space at all. This is a gaping hole. There's no there's no trap here. <laughs> there's no trap to yeah. be sprung. <laughs> there's just people to leave in your way. Shame he's got a movement five carrier. <laughs> Cause like you know, if he had if he had Ducky's uh Ducky's goo he'd be over here and, and safe. Huh? Yeah, these are tools to move to teams. Oh, into movement five. What a, what a appalling carrier. So it's it's a really slow. It's a really slow scoop down the side. <laughs> if you put together, hey, if you put together that move five player and two of the black orcs, you'd have a one turn. Well, hey. All it takes <laughs> is three players to be one gutter runner. Yeah, that's it. The, the trap is having to play another game of Blood Bowl by securing victory. <laughs> Oh my god, another dub school. Well, I think he could have re-rolled that one. Honestly, I, I think that was that, you know, I've, like, blah, 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 blah. I'll try and speak a sentence. It's Mighty Blow, it's 2D, it's sandwiching three guards on two guards, and it's, like, really reinforcing the breakaway and making it really strong. So I, I really like the re-rolling that. You want it up as well, right, so you're getting to shut down into two. No, no, no. It would have been on a uh, just a plain garter, right? So it actually has very high chance to get a knockdown, too. Exactly. Let alone a... Yeah. 75% yeah, knockdown. So it's not just like a greedy banger, hope I get a pow and removal. It's like, it's actually really strong for the position as well. That this guy starts down and you get three guards in on the two. Quite well. So yeah, it was really. I think that was really worth it. But. You can just stay, uh, you can just chain these off now. I think. So. I don't know where the assist is necessarily going to come from oh. easily. Bold. Well, now, now it's actually simple. <laughs> now it's even easier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I no. guess it's a free assist that you can just use. But... The, the bull here was still the best player, right? Because then, if you push him, then you've got the guard and the assist for for this hit. So that's real. This is really weird. Okay, no, yeah, he's just doing it a different way. But making a block with yeah. block. So it was way better just to move the bull in here. I right, I'll just pause it. Bull could have come to here, and that gives you this blitz with an assist. And then if it's just a push, you get to push this guy out to here. And then now yeah. you can make this blockless block with two assists. And then yeah. you've still got that guy. Push him back up, yeah. Mm. So he's then able to play with two pushes, whereas here, if that had been a push, he would have been uh, still in contact, wouldn't he? So, yeah. Yep, the reroll stops any possible rando attrition. Might get rando attrition. Like it's not, it's not a main thing when you're rolling the dub skulls there. But it would give. I think that was a really good one to reroll for Sparky. But it's hard in 15 seconds, here. right? Yeah. It's, it's hard in 15 seconds. Is one of the things uh, on Blood Bowl two. Yeah. This this was to get was this to get a two D? I really like the one two, down that, because that, gave him, that traps. That gave him a, yeah, that was a two D into a, a one D on this black orb to basically clear the entire front lines. Yeah. Now the drive's over, so Yeah. Yeah. I really wanted him one back so that he could he could, you know, stop this guy coming out and these two coming out. Um 
but yeah, he gets some things about being one forward as well. But you know, if he could have had a player here, that would have been really good, wouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know if the black or dodge is quite correct there, since I guess he couldn't quite get the guard or his players around. But I feel like there might have been a way to get a two dice or one dice there without having to use the black or as the first action. Mm. Bit of a, a bit of a give up there, maybe. Yeah, maybe you know people are just humans, and uh, yeah, you know it's he's down, he's down to one reroll, and he's, you know he's losing one nil, lost on his own drive. It's probably not exactly the happiest bunny in the world, is he? <laughs> Winning is overrated, indeed. Large thud, indeed. But, you know, the winner of this gets 25 bucks, isn't it, I think? Making it to the round 16, so that's nice. I don't know if it's as nice as being focusing on playing a level for four turns early, but, you know. <laughs> hey, get to the cars. You might just skip turns now, the uh, orcs. Fowling should give you SVP. Really encourage it. Really make the game toxic by having fouling. Used to. Played. Used to, back in the day. 1994. It was just like, cause a Kaz, 2 SPP, and then uh, and then later on they all like, FAQ'd it or whatever to be like, only if you block them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you and Callison have something to do with that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, when Kimmery had four mummies, a very balanced and fair team Kimmery must have been. Yeah. The craziest thing then was no journeyman, right? Like, no journeyman yeah. was insane. Like, that's the big... I think that's the single best change to Blood Bowl. In, in like, you know, since 94. I would say that's mm. the biggest thing. Letting teams field full teams and yeah. not have... Like, well, I'm down to five elves. See y'all in two weeks and I'm down to three because I can't... It's impossible for my players now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was insane. I mean, it was really insane. The old, the old days. And like, for a long time, right? Living in Real Book 4, like, it was a long time. It was... Until until Journeyman came along. Oh, here we go. Hand off. He's on 48. That gets him to 51. Oh, baby. Dream result for Sparky. Gets his claw pommer. Facing the fantastic. game, uh, Sparky asked us not to say anything mean about him to be harsh. So I'll just say there's really nothing we could say. He played a completely normal game. And uh, the orcs sure didn't really give you a lot of resistance for it. <laughs> <laughs> the best the best possible game of Blood Bowl. Zero adversity. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of adversity, was there? Uh, you know, it was a good effort to score, right? Good effort to, like, make the desperation moves with, like, the running around the bull and that and screening. Yeah, there was some good... But I really like using the down player as part of the screen in case of the, uh, in case of the, uh, dodge fail and stuff. The hop the dodge fail. That was nice. But, yeah, not, nothing bad at all. It was really weird to say don't say anything mean because... I don't think there's anything anybody could have said anything mean about this game unless unless this strength four is about to run up and get killed for no reason. <laughs> the only thing you might say is the turn where you put the pressure on the ball is exceptionally aggressive, but the ordering of that turn was fine, so it wasn't like hyper risky to put on that much aggression and the result was obviously pretty huge. So. Yeah, well, I like I like that because orcs orcs aren't very responsive at all, are they? So mm -hmm. you know, they're always gonna be under the caution then. If you can make it about the, you know, because you are like you're the elf in this game as the chorf, right? Like pretty much, you're certainly not the orcs. The orcs are the orcs. <laughs> They've got all that strength on you, and like you know, okay, you might get lucky with removal, which in the end he did. Obviously, he got loads of removals in the end. But uh, until you get lucky with those removals, you're under the caution. It's difficult. SG1 was shit, though, says K. Lord. What I think's funny is surely SG1 stands for Stargate One. So therefore, it's Stargate, Stargate One. And that that always that always amused me. Still it, does. So I, I also read SG One Stargate, despite never watching the show, <laughs> or and barely remembering it was also a film at one point. Mm. Nice dwarven nutsack there with that uh, with that. 
<laughs> with that falling animation. Love to see it. <laughs> really are obsessed by upskirts for some reason, aren't they, Cyanide? <laughs> you know, if, if, if you could replace their love of upskirts with love of Blood Bowl, then uh, BB3 would have been a lot better, I think. We'd have at least three working animations, yeah. They'd all, <laughs> uh, they'd all be like troll upskirts, but hey. <laughs> We might even have a user interface that isn't seven user interface pieces together in a way that makes no sense. <laughs> there you go. What a result. Gets the win, gets the call. Absolutely. Absolute perfection. Or is it not over? Don't say it's over. One more turn. Wow, Kalon. Kalon really got a vendetta against Stargate, Stargate 1 for some reason. I mean, I literally never watched it, but I do know that P90 was a firearm that was in that show because they picked cool looking guns. So, P90 was like the peak of gun fashion 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> fight all of you. There's no need to fight about it. Okay. I mean, it's still better than 40k. I mean, what is better than 40k? Come on. Oh, Riot! Maybe, maybe the Orcs can score twice. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> now with this attitude of just going for blocks. Come on. And no rerolls. Alright, really so, so, sorry. Some, somebody ban Kaelon, please. <laughs> Jurassic Park? <gasps> you what? <laughs> you what? Next K on might say something bad about Barbie Girl, and then I have to agree with him on everything he said. No, I'll ban you both. <laughs> hey, he died, he died, he dub skulled and died. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Absolutely, it just ends the turn, doesn't even bother. Oh, amazing. I mean, so the, obviously the the correct play there was just dodge backwards and forth, right? So it, there's no mighty blow on a failed dodge. But, uh, brilliant, brilliant uh, just to end the turn. Yeah, I guess the chance of a knockdown on a reroll is so high. 55% mm. it's probably... Yeah, and you can three pretty close. Well. Yeah. You couldn't do actually, these are quite far away. But anyway, um, I just dodge away, right? Just dodge, you don't need to back, dodge back and forth, just dodge away and then make it out of the three dice. You. Um, but there you go, commiserations, Astro WWF, congratulations, Sparky. Ah, oh, it's, no, it's not, it's not about being nice, you know, try to be honest and try to, you know, sometimes try to be entertaining, um, but uh, you know, try to. Try just try to be honest, right? As, as that's my that's my curse is trying to be honest, and uh, you know people people don't like that sometimes, do they? And like you know people love like these kind of Reddit uh, rebel uh, what are they called um, euphemisms and stuff of shit play. But at the end of the day, I think they detract from when things are interesting, right? Like I think using interesting as a euphemism for bad or you know not what I would have done is like a bit rubbish because. You know, those some things are like that, right? So I, I just want to mean what I say. So there you go. Um, MVP on that dead guy. I mean, he deserved it. That was what a way to end the match. Amazing. And thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for being in the booth. Glorious having you on, Cons. Yep. Left already, maybe. I don't know. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>